Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge, where we mix and match all sorts of different animal genes in order to get some curious creature crossbreed creations. And welcome back, you guys, and welcome back to another Night Fury crossbreed! Oh my gosh, I am so excited because our Patreon Discord started buzzing about a few days ago about some upcoming movie to expand the How to Train Your Dragon universe. I think it's a movie at least. It might actually end up being like a series. I'm very excited because I've only ever seen like the first two movies of How to Train Your Dragon, but it was so much fun and they have expanded the world so much over the years with games and all sorts of series and books. And I just, I want to dive right into it because I'm just really feeling like dragons lately. I've just got a little bit of a dragon bug going on. I am still reading through His Majesty's Dragon series and I am rereading The Dragons of Pern, which even though it's a little outdated in several ways, still is one of my favorite worlds that I have ever encountered. I highly recommend it if you're older and if you like mixes of both fantasy and sci-fi. And that's all I will say for now. But welcome back, you guys. We had so much fun crossbreeding our amazing Night Fury that today I actually dived in very eager to work with the Night Fury genetics again, only to my shock, to change my idea of what we were going to do. So originally we were going to do like a Night Fury and maybe a snow leopard, or I was thinking about potentially working with a moose to celebrate all of the amazing North American animals we're working with in Planet Zoo. And then I pulled up a, a, a random dog just to fill the slot while I prepared to like go ahead and find find the genetic file for, you know, a moose. And look who popped up, you guys! An Afghan hound! And as soon as I randomized the name and I realized the name of the Night Fury is Starry, and then the name of the Afghan hound randomized to Galaxy, I just knew somehow it was meant to be. I don't know how these two met. I mean, the odds of a Night Fury and an Afghan Hound meeting are exceptionally slim for many, many reasons. I can only imagine that the Afghan Hound actually belongs to a brave and bold captain who took out to the sea and has been traveling the world only to end up spending some time at a port that also happens to have a Night Fury. And how these two are actually going to be able to produce six little eggs to hatch today so that we can go ahead and admire and ooh and ah over the mix of genetics, who even knows? We're just gonna say it's some of the laboratory magic, but I think that Starry the Night Fury, I laughed so hard when the name randomized Starry, and Galaxy the Afghan Hound. There's something that they just connect on, on a deeper level, that happens to be about the night sky and its beauty, the stars twinkling overhead. And somehow, maybe they wished upon a star and their wish came true. And we're now going to have six little eggs laid. And we are going to watch as those eggs hatch. And then when they grow up, we will see if the dice of destiny will determine if they are actually going to end up having uh, like the Night Fury features of the amazing amazing head, the wings, and the tail, all of which is custom content for your Sims 4 needs, created by the amazing Kalino. But we're gonna see if we end up with this, or if we like end up being just like a really beautiful, maybe darkly colored, uh, very much loving to fish eat, uh, little dog dragon thing. <laughs> oh, maybe like fury hounds? But I think that they're both like very calm and really love studying the stars too much to have their children be named Fury Hounds. We'll have to think about it. But all right guys, the eggs are gonna start wiggling around on the ground. We will be naming these little ones after you guys. And all you need to do is leave a comment down below in order to become a Fury Hound, I suppose. Oh, look at that. Beautiful eyes, beautiful eyes and fantastic coloring from mom. And may I introduce all of you to none other than Madam Ellie. Madam Ellie, welcome, welcome. We will have to see if you are flying when you grow up. But Madam Ellie, you are going to be a hairy, independent hunter. And I think that's perfect that you're gonna be hairy because clearly you inherited the fur from your mom. So that's gonna be really fun to see. I love the eyes. I hope you keep those color eyes when you grow up. Oh my goodness. Also, happy birthday to your mom. It is my mom's birthday as well this month on Halloween. And this year I am so happy because Chips and I get to go spend Halloween with her and also trick or treating, which is, you know, her birthday. So good to spend your mom's birthday with her. And also uh, trick or treating with our nieces and nephews of whom have doubled in the last two years. 
<laughs> so many. <gasps> this is so cool. Oh my gosh. I love this. Okay, so this is actually going to be... This is going to be Tabitha. Tabitha, welcome. You are like a really amazing color and I love your eyes too. Wow. The wish made upon a star is really coming true. And Tabitha, you are going to be a vocal, independent, and playful little one. Oh, this is so exciting. And Tabitha, you do miniature Australian Shepherd and Australian Terrier mixes in your family. Oh gosh, that sounds like it would be so much fun. And also like you're going to be so busy of being able to play. All right, here we go. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to welcome in Lou. Oh my gosh, and look how cute. We ended up with a brown one. Oh, I love this mix already. Also, I think some of them may have inherited like all the flop ears and that could make life really interesting. And Lou, you cannot give milk, my dear. However, you can be a friendly, playful, jumpy little pup. And Lou, you suggest doing a lot more Australian crossbreeds, like an Australian shepherd with a, a dragon or an Australian shepherd with a unicorn. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put that down because I think the idea of an Australian shepherd unicorn sounds absolutely precious. So that is on the list. Thank you very much, my friend. Let's go ahead. The next egg is hatching. We're about half. And now we're gonna go ahead and. Dun dun dun! Ta da! This is gonna be Jessica! For EJ Goods, Jessica. And you say that your Aussie, Jessica, is the sweetest dog you have ever known and always stays by your side. Oh, that's so wonderful. I'm so happy to hear that you guys are able to go ahead and have a great time with Jessica. And you know what? Since we have an Afghan hound, I will let them produce wool if they roll it. And this version of Jessica is going to be a vocal wool producing jumpy little pup. I love these colors. Like we might end up with some really colorful, pretty night furies, which makes me think we might need to break out the dolls as well. All right, all right, now we're gonna go ahead. Oh, and just as I say that, we end up with a darker color following the scales of Starry. And this is going to be Rose. Rose, welcome, welcome. You are a playful, friendly, adventurous little one who you say in your comments are very excited about the new movie. Oh, you guys, I'm so happy that there's worlds and adventures and stories that we all share excitement with together because that's so special because it's like not only do we share this amazing world with each other, but we also share the worlds of our imaginations and different movies and books and stories and games and like things that we create ourselves. And I just think that that is one of the most amazing things that could possibly happen in our lives. Being able to really share our excitement about different worlds. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and we are going to have the last little puppy. Oh, this one's going to be Mark. Welcome, Mark. Oh, my gosh. And you used to have Australian Shepherds, too. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so n note taken. Like, all of you guys are just, like, uh, super excited about the Aussies. So we will definitely try to get more Australian Shepherds in for sure. But for now, my friends, the eggs have all hatched and it's time to go ahead and grow these little ones up and see what they are going to become. Keep in mind, we are going to be using the Dice of Destiny to determine if they are going to be inheriting the Night Fury's head, wings, and tail. So let's do this. Madam Ellie, you're up first. <laughs> Madam Ellie, look at those big ears. Oh my goodness. So Madam Ellie did not inherit the, uh, she did not inherit the, the face, so no face, but she did inherit the wings. So she actually did inherit the body. This is possibly going to get extremely interesting with the way that this particular set works. <laughs> oh my gosh, here, maybe we can do like white for her or white and black because she's got like a few little spots. Okay, Madam Ellie, hang in there. We're just going to have to pretend that your fur makes things fit. Can I give you any kind of fur that will help this out? Oh, actually, that kind of connects your neck to the rest of your body a little better. Let's see. We're going to need to go with the whatever fur can help connect her the most with her head. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here, we're going to go with this one because it seems to be the one that helps the most. Look at that. That's hilarious. It's misshapen and hilarious, but look, look, oh my gosh, we need to get a poodle in here.
start to mix with these. Look how fluffy those legs are. Oh my goodness. All right. And Madam Ellie, you actually did inherit the tail and you already snagged it. So there you go, my dear. You are giant, like a gigantic fluffy polar bear of a, a like fairy hound. Oh my gosh. All right, Tabitha, now that we know what to expect, what about you, my dear? Oh, look at those eyes. Look at that coloration. And Tabitha, you actually only inherited the tail and nothing else. What the heck? Oh my goodness. All right, which actually looks really good on her. Oh my gosh. All right, that actually turned out pretty cool. I like it, I like it. We'll do, yes, there, Tabitha. What a thoughtful way. I bet that she really, like you would want to pet her on a hot day because as her tail like waves around in your face, you're just going to get this nice cooling breeze. Oh, really beautiful. Man, we need to do more Afghan hound mixes in the future. And Lu? Oh, Lu, you've got the little flop ears too, but maybe not for long because you actually have inherited the face and you have not inherited anything else. Like we'll leave that dragon tail, but you didn't get the full cell dragon tail. However, you did get the face. Oh. Oh. I see. I see. Um, okay. <laughs> this is why when you start messing with some of the bigger genetics guys, you might start getting into a little trouble. There we go. We've at least connected. <laughs> What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Lou, you are amazing. Let no one ever tell you any different. Oh my word. This is why the Night Theory jeans are so much fun to work with. Jessica, come on up, my dear. All right, beautiful, beautiful. And you actually inherited both the face and the body, but not the tail. That is a, a new mix of everything all together. Um, let's see if it's any better if we if we put together the face and the body. Maybe that helps. And then we'll we'll let's see, we'll do these ones. And then we'll go ahead and we'll try to change the fur type to a type. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Oh, oh dear. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, we made this. This is our responsibility, friends. No wonder Jessica was going to produce wool. Like, I don't even... You know, words fail me. Words fail me. But you know what? That's where our random laboratory experiments go. You never know. Rose? Come on up, sweetie. <laughs> All right, Rose looks primarily pretty normal. And actually, Rose literally rolled for nothing. So she's not going to have the Night Fury face. She's not going to have the wings. And she's not going to have the tail. But I have a feeling that she is going to be a Fisher dog. I am so amused right now. Oh my gosh. I just kind of want to sit here and stare at Jessica forever. Like, she looks like she could be mixed with a griffin. Like, what is going on here? And, and Rose is fine. And then finally, we have Mark. Oh, Mark, you didn't even roll a personality yet. I was so distracted. Okay, unfortunately, you're going to be a troublemaker who's aggressive and a bit of a couch potato. I am mildly concerned, especially because the only thing you actually rolled to have, um, the only thing you actually rolled to have, Mark, is the face. Again. Is this. Is that. And I think, yeah, the, this is the, okay. All right. All right, this is what we've made. This is our responsibility. That's why you, we're, we're all wearing the lab coats of guilt, friends. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, well I have to say, guys, like some of these mixes turned out so adorable. You clearly have to like kind of tidy up a few things here and there. Madam Ellie, like you're amazing. You do need to like tidy up the connections just a little bit. Just imagine that that's a little bit smoother than it currently looks. Look at how happy Madam Ellie is. She's just like, I'm not going to stop wagging this tail. I'm not going to stop this. And then uh, we've got Tabitha with a really beautiful long tail. Lou, Lou, I love you. I love you so much. How could you not love that? Why don't doggies come with four adorable little ears that you can like pet? Like that sounds like an amazing idea. And I love how Rose was just like, yeah, I'm not going to have any part of that. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. 
All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this very expected, unexpected twist to our genetics. I think the Night Fury genes in particular are really awesome. We'll have to work with those more in the future. If you guys could, do please leave a like for all of our little curious creature crossbreeds. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.